Watch you guys, got another video here for you. This one's on Malwarebytes Chameleon and how we can use Malwarebytes Chameleon and get it running so we can remove malware from the system. Now we've got a, a rogue on the system here which is one of the newest ones doing the rounds and uh, we can't get Malwarebytes to run here at the moment and what I want to do is show you the Chameleon tool to get it to run. So what we're going to do here is go to the start of the all button and then we're going to go down to all programs here find the folder called Malwarebytes Anti-Malware and then down to the Tools folder and inside here you'll see a little file that says Malwarebytes Anti-Malware Chameleon click on that and hopefully fingers crossed you should have this window popping up now if you don't and malware is actually stopping this from opening you can still go to the actual programs folder and I'll show you how to do that so let's go to the programs folder first I'm going to go into a computer here, the C drive, and in Programs Files. Look for Malwarebytes Anti-Malware. Go inside there and you should see a folder called Chameleon. Go in there. And there you can see all the files. Okay. So if this doesn't run from here, you can always click on these files one at a time. Okay. And see if it works that way. So we're going to do it the other way because we we can get this opened and what this will do is that we're just going to click on these the please wait sign will come up and it will say tested it can't run okay and all you need to do is go, keep continuing the process until you can get malware bytes to run it's trying to do something there it's not worked so we go on to the next one. You see the prompt box pop up there. I'm going to go to number four. Let me try number five. Okay, we got some success here this time. The actual windows popped up, and as you can see, it's svchost.exe. They've named it that. So what we can do here now is push any key to continue now you can push the enter key here it's going to do an update of the actual malware bytes and it's going to kill all known mal malicious processes i.e. this um, let me pull this down so you can see it's going to try and kill this process and there you go it's killed the process now what it's going to do next is try to fire up Malwarebytes and this may take some time so be patient and then Malwarebytes should load and then start to scan okay so now it's going to run Malwarebytes and that took a little about 30 seconds to get this to pop up and get a scan running so now we're removing this row from the system because we've now got malware bytes to run. Now obviously you've still got the option to get into safe mobile networking which I would advise you to do if you can but this is just in case you can't get malware bytes to run at all and this is a good little way of getting it running. and that's the actual scan now finished. going to click OK here I'm going to show the results and there we have our actual rogue on the system I'm going to remove the selected which is now going to delete all these okay so now you can keep the actual uh, log file I would advise you to keep all your logs until you're fully cleaned but I'm going to close this off just for this video and then reboot because it's asked me to restart the system so I'm going to say yes to this
and as you can see we now have the system back up and running so malware bytes chameleon is an awesome little tool to get rid of these types of rogues from the system and it works a treat. So I hope you enjoy these videos. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, please remember guys, hit that subscribe button. Also rate and favorite my videos if you enjoy them. And I'll be making more useful videos again in the future. So thanks again for watching guys. Bye for now.